Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be uh, really relaxed. Uh, it's a vlog just kind of showing you guys what we did today for homeschool. You're not going to see anything crazy creative like I thought about, oh, maybe I should wait to do this on a different day when we have like a craft or we have this or that. I figured that this would be a very realistic day in our homeschool life. We are in summer. We're doing the last three weeks of school. I think we have two more after this week and then we'll be done for the school year. So we're not doing anything super crazy like creative. Uh, we didn't do science today uh, and we didn't do geography because we did geography on Tuesday um, and I forgot to show you guys the Spanish because it's just super it's also independent the girls have accumulated uh, words throughout this whole like school year and uh, now for these this last month I was like you know what I'm gonna just have them review words in their book and then they can choose for three words and uh, write them in English and in Spanish so that's what they've been doing so I'll just show a picture up here because I did take uh, video on my phone for my story, but I didn't get it on like this camera So I'll show you guys here, but um, the girls will just write them down They will choose and then we will go over the words the spelling the pronunciation and all that and then they also do their date <clears throat> Which we switch out the date on the board every day. That's all we do for Spanish right now So if you guys kind of want to see our school day today our realistic school day today Just go ahead and keep on watching Since you're doing your 10 minute reading. Yep. And what are you reading? I'm reading so much of fresh and caramelized and ice Okay, and Jetty, what I'm are you reading? I'm reading this book. What is it called? It's called Who Was Maria Antoinette and look at I'm almost done. This is like this is like the fourth day of me reading yeah? yeah, and what have what have you learned so far? A lot of people were starving and dying. That's actually not cake. It says the poor people of France were starving and dying. And what? She didn't really care about them. Um, they yeah, you can cut to it. Question their government. They wondered how the king, queen, and nobility could continue having such fancy parties and eat such expensive food. Mmm. Oh, when everybody was starving. Okay, they also did their journal, their finishing reading, so I'll just show you guys. They have a cursive page. That's what I, I think Jody did G. She's doing G words. And then they do this 180 days of math for second grade, so this is Jets. Let's see what she did today. <clears throat> so it shows... Uh, bigger, greater, a little bit of everything, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what the books, and, and this is easier than what we're doing in math, like actual math time, uh, and that was the point, these are easy enough for them to do on their own, um, but also, you know, still challenges their brain a little bit in the beginning of the day, so this is what she'll do tomorrow. And then reading. The staircase towards the queen's room and killed two of her bodyguards. <gasps> I know. Oh, oh, they're savage. Savage. Okay, so here's Sissy's journal. <clears throat> Let's see what she's on for cursive. She's not the biggest fan of cursive, so I let her take her time. Sometimes she only does half a page. So yeah, so then she'll probably just finish it tomorrow. So she usually does half a page at a time. But here are the other ones that she's done. And then for math what she did. Sometimes they just do these for fun. Um, so she did this today. So counting, adding. Uh, so yeah. And honestly, I don't really check these all the time, every single time. So sometimes they just do that. But most of the time, yeah, the trash is definitely coming in. they do most of it. Look guys, I finished my whole work. Good job, Jet. All right, Jenny, so what did you do for math today? This is what I did today. So I added money. money. Mm -hmm. And I did these two problems just now. I check it for you on the board? Yeah. And you've been doing good? Yeah. <laughs> so since she did this part, she did this page, and I told her we would just need to do this part up here and that she can do the practice tomorrow or just skip it. But we don't really we don't follow it like oh exercise six we do this one all the way through because I I don't know about you guys but I feel like Singapore 
it's kind of a lot so if we did the whole thing it would be this this whole page this whole page um, and this whole page <laughs> so usually we we will split let exercises up into two so yeah depending um, on the lesson we usually just do about two pages yeah maybe two and a half and then the next day we usually will just pick up where we left off sis now sissy what have you done so far you did this page she did this page on her own she did this page and then I told her same thing that we'll just do this here and then that'll be it so uh, let me just kind of show you her exercises so she did this the day before uh, just because she wanted to so it was fine uh, and then like I said we started here today she did this one and then now we're gonna do this part up here uh, so tomorrow she might do this she might skip it and then we just might just pick no. up here so yeah so hers are not as long as jets but we still but it's still a little bit lengthy depending on what like see like this one would be this page this page this page and this page and honestly I like it like this I feel like because sometimes we will do the whole exercise depending on what it is but I really like it like this because I feel like uh, they have options it's nice to kind of focus on certain things and move on if we're we're done with it you know so we really do like that that it gives us plenty of options and different exercises and we can use different manipulatives and different methods to solve things so yeah Singapore map dimensions this is the dimensions math 1b and then Jetty has the 2b hey, you forgot my equation. 2b <laughs> okay let's get okay, so the kids started using these um, when we finished uh, with blossom and root and uh, they didn't get a lot of grammar and punctuation stuff so I just bought them these and we've been doing them for language arts so since there's a lot to be done in here I kind of just pick and choose what they do they skip some and I, I just choose every day what they're gonna do so today just gonna do this uh, dining out so it tells you the skills that they're practicing here and then it just gives them instructions and yeah usually they'll do one page sometimes two again depending but usually one page let's see sis what are you doing today can I do this page and this page yeah, let's see. So Sissy's going to be learning how to write commas after greetings and closings of friendly letters. This one is about verbs, so let's work on this one first, and then we'll do this one if we have enough time, okay? Okay. Okay, so Sissy just uh, did the commas here on these letters, and then she did this one, and then she brought it to me, and we changed two of them. And then Jetty too. So it says like she's supposed to use possessive nouns in the sentences, but she just wrote sentences to describe the pictures however she wanted. And then she chose between these two to complete the sentences. And we're done. Now we're gonna just do a 10 minute read aloud about George Washington Carver because this week was Iowa week. He was born into slavery. Carver became a botanist and inventor who made many important discoveries. He was the first black faculty member at Iowa State University. The girls like to do the math and see how old they were if they passed away. <laughs> so they figured out that, how old was George Washington Carver, sis? 27 when he died. 27? It's the other way around. He was 72, thank you. Yes, hi Jet. Cool pencil. But yeah, so we will do that and then we'll be all done with school for the day.